arrived in Buenos Aires under the bluest South American skies. We're in Argentina for the G20 Health Ministers meeting. It's a very important lot to do. Look forward to getting on with it. Okay, after navigating some famous Buenos Aires traffic, we've just arrived here at the British Embassy, where we're the guest of um, British Ambassador Mark Kent. So we're just going to spend a couple of hours here, um, catching our breath, catching up on some emails uh, back in the constituency and the department. Um, and it's a chance also to talk to the Ambassador about some of the ongoing issues in current Argentinian politics, and obviously lots of history around the Falklands and future trade opportunities. Um, lots of issues bubbling around, so a real chance to catch up with Mark before we head on another short flight down to the venue for the G20. Well, it's traditional for English politicians to go to the seaside at this time of year. I am at the seaside. Uh, I'm not just in Brighton or Bournemouth, I'm actually in Argentina. Uh, flew into Buenos Aires from London this morning and then took another short flight about an hour from Buenos Aires this afternoon to Mar del Plata where the G20 Health Ministers meeting will be held tomorrow. That's the Atlantic Ocean that you can see behind me, so it's definitely a seaside resort. And uh, this evening is a chance for me to have dinner with some of my fellow health ministers and catch up on some of the things that we have in common. And then tomorrow at the meeting itself, I'll be giving presentations on child obesity and the work that we're doing on that back home and also on the critical subject of antimicrobial resistance where I'll be doing something with the Chief Medical Officer for England. Good morning from Argentina just after 7am here the Atlantic Ocean behind me looking sublime and very calm but there's something incredibly powerful about it it's beautiful to see so, very interesting day ahead. I'll be giving presentations, as I said last night, on child obesity, on strengthening health systems around the world, and on antimicrobial resistance. Uh, really good dinner last night, chance to catch up and have some one-to-one -one chats with health ministers from around the G20. Chat with uh, the opposite number from China, who despite a, a, a minute or so of British awkwardness around using a translator, incredible how the human contact takes over. We had a really interesting discussion around technology and how that can help us in managing health and long-term conditions. Uh, with the health minister from Germany, really nice guy. It's so interesting when you talk to uh, individual EU ministers how much they want and expect and need there to be a deal out of Brexit. So as my colleagues file out of the room, the G20 Health Ministers meeting in Argentina draws to a close. It's been a fascinating day. We have discussed uh, child obesity, a chance for us to talk about some of the world leading things that we are doing and hear what other people are up to. We've discussed strengthening health systems around the world 
and this afternoon the Chief Medical Officer for England uh, has led a simulation exercise on antimicrobial resistance which was a brilliant chance for us as health ministers to, to learn about the challenge of AMR which many of us know and uh, some of the ways that we can work together to tackle it which many of us now know. This is the communique, the agreement that we as ministers across the G20 have agreed where we're going to work together uh, on all of these things that are so important to the health of our population and this will be published online now and it's a chance for you to take a look at that. So it's been a real pleasure to be part of this, a real privilege as a health minister from the UK to be here and I look forward very much now to the next one.